Hello everyone, and welcome back to my complete career run through of Kerbal Space Program 0.23, where all our missions must be crewed. And we were in the middle of a mission to Gilly in the last episode, and here we are with Melzer Kerman around Eve. And it is time to get Melzer Kerman to Gilly. Now, I have a little bit of nervousness about this because I've never been to Gilly and Normally, low gravity means an easy landing, but I'm not 100% sure about that in this case, because Gilly's gravity is very, very low. Uh, anyway, so uh, everything looks good from out here. Let's just uh, make a transfer to Gilly. Let's see where we would have to do that. Our inclination is fine, because we fixed that last time. Let's say we do a transfer from here. How far away would we be? Ooh. Doesn't even want to... Well, here's where Gilly having this really low gravity hurts, right? Because because it can't really bring us in unless we're very, very close. But it would be nice if it could just tell us, relatively speaking, where we are compared to it. I mean, we can't be that far off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, alright. But yeah, it has to be really, really close to make it work. Now, this... So if it's like this, um, Gilly's ahead of us, so we just take our thing and move it around a little bit. And perhaps we can... Except we're just a little bit low. Uh, looks a little bit closer. Okay, it's not going to be a huge transfer, as you can see. And, in fact... Well, it might be better just to do a radial burn. No, that that way. Oh, nope, maybe not a good idea. Can we get faster? No. Nope, it'll have to be a matter of timing. Which means like this. And in fact, let me just start a new one. Of course, uh, if we're further out from Eve, which is what I'm doing here, it uh, costs a little bit more to do the burn. If we are closer into Eve, it's much more beneficial. Uh, well, that's tantalizingly close right there. Close isn't good enough. Okay, well, we had one there. Very tiny, finicky thing. In one day? Well, that should be fine. I, I, I'm not too worried about the fuel situation. We we have to expend this anyway, because we're only going to be going down on the lander stage, and we can't meet up with this transit stage anymore after we land. So, So we might as well use it up, and... This is not going to use it up, this this burn. So I'm all, all right about fuel. All right, let's... Making sure that we aren't too close into Eve, and we're not. Let's let's go around, back around Eve, and... I forgot what experiments I've already done, actually. That's the problem with uh, leaving this for a day and then coming back to it. Okay, so here we go, burning for Gilly, wherever that tiny little rock happens to be. I don't think it's in visible range. Don't think we we would be able to see it at all. So to get an encounter with Gilly, you have to be within a hundred kilometers. It looks like, which is which is great. That's pretty amazing. Let's get way closer than that. Oh, not that close apparently, because that puts us off. Okay, well, it's flashing, trying to decide whether I have an encounter there. Let me try and resolve that a bit. Okay, 49 kilometers. Hopefully. 
let's time warp out to it. Okay, we are now in the vicinity of Gilly, and I must act quickly because we're not going to be in there for very long. Eight minutes before we escape. So let's slow down. Okay. It's a little bit closer than I'd like. I know this is a rock, so I'm not entirely sure. I mean, taking a look at it, it's going to be tough to land on it, actually. Well, it's not going to be tough. I mean, it's, well, it's going to be tough to find even ground. It's just not tough to actually set it down. All right, well, I don't need this anymore. It doesn't look like we're actually hitting anything on Gilly here. So I guess this altitude is fine, though. Uh, I'll take a closer look once we get in. All right, uh, well, we can, is this high over Gilly? Can we do an EVA report from here? Yes, high over Gilly, excellent. Keep that data, board. And I guess we'll have a low over Gilly too. Can we take a temperature scan from high over Gilly or not? That one's already used. I don't have too many temperatures, uh, thermometers, I mean. So, anyway, that's fine. Orbit, five meters per second. Well, that's on the high part of the orbit. Let's see how fast we're going on the low part of the orbit. Uh, we'll take it from this view. Takes us a long time to get around Gilly. We'll want to land on the bright side of it though, so that's another consideration. Fortunately, plane changes aren't a big deal. Okay, as you can see, on the close end of the orbit, we are about 22 meters per second. <laughs> oh dear. This is going to be interesting. So the first thing, first consideration is that I really need to dump my my old stage here. And it's pretty much out of fuel, so it's not like I'm going to be losing too much. But perhaps we should uh, dip our orbit a bit before doing that? How long is this? Uh, it's a five hour to Apoapsis, so about ten hours around. Well, we can speed things up a bit. Oh, can't warp faster, but okay. Well, I guess there are some hills that might be more than 8,000. Actually, speaking of which, Melzer, could you EVA and do your thing? Oh, still high over Gilly. Okay, well, I'd love to know what low over Gilly is. If it's going to reduce our time warp, I would think that that would be low enough, but I guess not. And we can't time warp like that. Well, anyway. Oop, wrong way around. And let's make sure the periapsis isn't going down any further. Okay, that's down. It's this way's up. Uh, it seems like we're on the terminator line between uh, light and dark. It's not really where I want to be. Let's actually add a maneuver out here to fix that. Whoa. Haha. <laughs> Even the slightest nudge can make a huge difference around Gilly. Alright, uh... No, no. Yeah, something of this sort would be favorite, except... Boy, does this not look like friendly terrain for me. Oh well, we'll have to, uh... Keep it light. Okay, time for physical warp, I think. Oh, we're going around this way, is it? No, oh, that's why. Huh. In that case, maybe I should do this. And then, let's see, which way do I want to go? If we're going north-south now, we're heading south. 
Is it this way? No, 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 it'd be west. I think. Let's see. So let's say I do a little bit of a burn west. Yeah, yeah. That looks quite promising. Perhaps, perhaps this basin here would be good. Okay. Are we low over Gilly yet? Nope, this is still high. Strange. Oh, how about uh, some of the other readings? How about a barometer reading? Can we do that? Mm, nope. Temperature reading only wants me to toggle display. That can't be good. That will only be when we land. Okay. Oh, when I mess up the temperature scan, when it tells me it can't be done right now, it then just does not give it to me anymore. That's not nice. Alright, well, it seems to me that we should uh, make a landing then, since I can't really... Let me go, no, no, chase view. Because I'm going to probably be trying to use RCS somewhat. Orient a little bit. All right, let me get my RCSing down. See how I can do that. I have to figure out how I'm pointing. All right, so let's say I turn RCS on, and okay. Okay. So, keeping an eye on it, let me just use RCS to slow down a bit. And I want it perhaps a little bit further north. I'll be good. Okay, let me just dump that stage. And get our gear down. Suspension should definitely not have a problem this time. Oh, turn RCS off. I don't need it for this maneuver. Just pointing in the right direction. Oops, turning a little bit. Alright. Looks like we're configured for landing, except we're not going down. Um, well, that's because we are apoapsis, so it'll be fine. Let's uh, physical time warp a bit, but this is going to be slow. Gilly does not believe in gravity much, so it's not a bad looking rock though. All right, I want to try one more time to EVA Melzer and see if he can't do the near Gilly scan. No. 
Nope, no luck there. Okay, I'm getting a bit impatient, and we're coming to places that look like perfectly good places to land. I, I mean, this slope isn't exactly, you know, Mont Blanc or anything, or, you know, the Matterhorn. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, we should just set it down. Which means, let's... Let's bring up RCS again and have it burn off some of our horizontal velocity. Uh, maybe a little bit further. I want to get hit this patch here, that that area. So we're not quite over it yet. But uh, let's also uh, perhaps assist Gilly in bringing us down. Sad. Like maybe like this. Let me switch to IVA quickly and see how far up we are. Oh, we're not that far up. Okay. So that's interesting. Hmm. This seems more sloped than I thought it was just a second ago. But no matter. It'll be fine. Wow, that's a lot more sloped than I thought I got. <sighs> Why does this always happen? Uh, it just it it something about the fact that Gilly is so small. Uh, depending on how you look at it, see now it looks like there's no slope. Now it looks like there's huge slope. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's, it really depends on how you're pointing. So if we're pointing like this, there's practically no slope. So I'm just going to point like this. Well, at least on landing I will. So let me burn a little bit like this. Uh, on. So that on landing I can point like this. Let's get our retrograde vector right up to the top here. All right. Oh no, this is orbit. Ah, surface, surface, surface. Right. Let's do the same thing, just with the surface vector. Get up to the top. Now we hardly have any downward motion, so let's actually help Gilly out again. RCS is particularly good with this. We're basically coming into dock with Gilly. Oh, there's our shadow. Okay. Uh, hmm, that doesn't look like we're landed, does it? Uh, okay, I think we're settling down. Oh, or maybe not. Uh, we seem to be bouncing a bit. Let me try and help Gilly a little bit. Oh, uh, it decided to autosave. Maybe that means I'm. Come on, come on. Just get, get, stick to the ground. Stick to the ground. Yeah, we're we're sticking now. I don't know. Have we landed on Gilly or not? Um, let's see. Actually, observe materials bay. Gilly surface, okay. The samples appear to behave like they're in low orbit of Kerbin. Really? I mean, low orbit of Kerbin still... Well, okay, whatever. Uh, I, I guess we have to trust uh, the analysis. Okay, mystery goo. We observed the goo. Alright. 
Um, how about some uh, size, size, seismic scans? Uh, the area, this area appears to be seismically dead. Okay, 180 science. Well, it's interesting to note if we want to mine it, that's a very good, very good observation. If uh, we can do key thing, well, of course not in this save because this is completely stock. But if we wanted to do key thing mining, then oh. Well, I, I would think that we would have wanted to know that uh, the pressure is zero, but if it is zero. Okay, collect and record temperature data from the environment. Keep data. I have no idea why we can't do the barometer, though, but, but whatever. All right, uh, how about the crew report? 45 science for that. Okay, I need to just switch view back to auto, yeah. That's best. Just so I can figure out how I'm rotating stuff. Alright, so I think Melzer Kerman, it's time for his moment. Very good. All right, Melzer, try not to bounce around too much. We know there's not much gravity here, but... All right, let go. Oh, he's already floating, isn't he? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, all right, just, just... Whoo, okay, well, this could go on forever. Uh, uh use your jetpack, and uh, let's see, down is this way, yes. All right. Um, I think it's probably safer just to have you plant the flag right here, Melzer. Melzer, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Melzer Kerman on Gilly. Melzer on, not Mauser. Melzer. Get their name right. Uh, and even though it's probably correct to keep Gilly lowercase, considering how small it is, I think we have to get that right too. All right. Um, hmm. More of a docking than a landing. Okay. Okay, so the surface gives away easily and you have a hard time keeping the sample in the container due to low gravity. Indeed, 270 science for that. And our EVA report says, you can barely move while flying away from the surface. You wish you brought and anchor. Typo, typo, and uh, this is completely stock, so uh, yeah, squad, fix the typo please. 72 science. All right. So we're all good, except, uh, uh, yeah, jetpack again, because this is going to be tough to figure out otherwise. And... Okay, grab. Yep, up you go. And board. And board. All right. Okay, I think that's everything, right? I mean, we tried to do everything. Both of our goo containers are open, so that's that's that settled. All right, so let's bring up the ladders and go home. Now, remember, we used a mod propellant to do the landing, so actually we could probably, well, maybe I should use mod propellant to take off. Uh, well, we've got it, might as well. Uh, let's get SAS on, RCS on, and can we? Yeah, monopropellant for the win. Alright, so let's just uh, use up the monopropellant to get into orbit around Gilly. Uh, gear up, I guess. I don't think we need to strictly. Uh, I think we've got plenty of fuel to get back to... Kerbin. But there's no point uh, 
taking any chances, and there is no other use for the mob propellant in this mission. I'm gonna hang around Gilly for a while. So this is this is not us permanently departing Gilly. We are going to hang about for a while until we get our our opportunity to transfer to Kerbin. So we're going to have to wait for the transfer window. Okay, I think I've well I need to boost high enough so that we can do the time warping. So let's see, we can't even time warp right now. And I wonder how high I need to be around Gilly before time warping is unlimited. Okay, well anyway, that's us in orbit thanks purely to monopropellant. And this is not a light vehicle, this is a 7.8 ton vehicle here. So... Ah, uh, Gilly, what can you say? Well, while it's doing that, Perhaps I should take a look at when we need to transfer. It looks like going from Eve to Kerbin is a 36 degree angle, so Kerbin would have to be ahead by 36 degrees, I suppose. Okay, so let's see how fast we can time warp now. Okay, so this little limitation under 20 kilometers. 40 kilometers, yet another restriction. Okay, well at least let's boost up to a 50 kilometer orbit before doing anything else. And continue using RCS for that. Whoop, wrong way. Why is it the wrong way? Well, I'm just gonna trust it. Where is it right now? Right now it's behind us, so we'll pr probably have to go around before we get Kerbin in the right spot. I'm going to take RCS off now. And, well, let me just zoom in. C5070. Alright, let's start time warping. Oh, 80, 80 kilometers. Why does Gilly have all these restrictions on it? Alright, fine, uh, 80 kilometers it is then. Uh, I mean, at a certain point, we're not even going to be able to stay in orbit around Gilly at all. If we boost too much higher than this. Alright, I'm sick of using RCS, we're pretty much done with it anyway. So just point prograde and burn okay it's the surface of Gilly that's what's messing me up all right orbit yes something about when it switches to from surface to orbit probably needs to be adjusted when it comes to Gilly as well all right 80 and 80 so all right Let's see if we can time warp like this. Really? A hundred... Look, I, I can't stay in orbit around Gilly at a hundred kilometers, can I? I mean, it, it just won't let me. Let's get as close to it as possible. Okay, that's a hundred. Then if we go around to it. Now we're at a hundred. Point prograde. Finish up our CS. Okay, that's everything above a hundred. Wow, it's really tough to stay within Gilly orbit while at hundred. And just just to be clear, I just don't want to be spinning around Eve unpredictably. During that time, uh, it's, it's on rails, it's not really unpredictable, but I, I feel more comfortable hanging around Gilly. Uh, mainly following the Ike model, because that's what I did with Ike and that mission was successful, so. Alright, now we can uh, time more properly. Oh, 
Okay, this looks approximately right. I do have some spare fuel, so I'm not too concerned if it's not quite the right angle. Not yet, anyway. Uh, so let's... Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I actually want to zoom in here. And let's boost to, uh, to Eve Orbit. Okay, now that looks like an orbit that will allow me to leave Eve very efficiently if I burn out the periapsis. Is the periapsis in the right place? No, not so much, actually. We need to burn forward, not backward. Okay. So that's not going to be in the right place at all. How long does Gilly take to go around... Eve. How long is its orbit? I don't know. If uh, if I could do this a similar burn like right around here, then I'd get the periapsis in the right place. Anyway, if uh, if I can't get it like this, then maybe it's not so good to be too tight into it. And then maybe I can fix it on the periapsis a little bit. bring it in. Well, let's just do this first. I don't know why I'm trying out all these fuel maneuvers when I've got tons of fuel, but, you know, habit. Oh no, uh, Gilly's, Gilly's, Gilly's orbit is actually quite fast. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's wait until we're in a better place with Gilly. Well, that, that looks about right. Let's see. Yeah, that periapsis is in just the right place. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's just get it a little bit closer in. Wow, this is a heavy burn though. I don't want it to be so heavy. Perhaps a little bit of inclination. Well, it seems like it's asking me to spend quite a lot to get the exit that I want. But, uh... But let's try this out anyway. Alright, well let's go with this and hopefully close to the periapsis we can burn out to Kerbin. Now yeah, that's not bad. Look at that. 140 meters per second. Well, so the heavy burn, even though it was a nasty heavy burn to uh, get into this orbit around Eve, that was helpful. Actually, maybe I can make it even more helpful. Oh, no, that doesn't do anything good. Uh, but that's only because... Uh, because the maneuver system isn't perfect at all times. But yeah, a little bit of... There we go. And that's all we need to escape Eve. And then... Perhaps a little bit of tweaking. We can get to Kerbin. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe around there. Uh, looks like I need to do a little bit of radial stuff. There we go. Kerbin encounter confirmed. 250 meters per second. Nothing much at all. Looks like our periapsis is good. And yeah, alright, let's just go around and take care of this. Alright, last chance to do anything around Eve. I guess the barometer still won't work.
Well, I think that's about it. Uh, we've already done our crew report. We've got stored data. I think we've already done an EVA report close to EVE. Yep, all is well. Let's get to the maneuver note. Oh, it's pointing at EVE. Okay, that's a little bit worrisome. Do, do we... Well, no, we don't dip back into the atmosphere. And it's a serious atmosphere, so we do have to check, but no, this... This isn't a big problem. All right, so 8,100 kilometers is quite tight, so we will go with that. And let's get into interplanetary space, shall we? Melzer Kerman looks quite pleased with himself, and he should be. This mission is going quite well already. And off we go. I don't know if uh, mid-course plane change or anything like that will be particularly useful, but let's just check it out. Alright, Kerbin periaps of 87 kilometers. I think we can deal with that. Let's do that. Obviously we're going to plan to air break around Kerbin. Because why not? And we're probably going to be crashing into the planet right now, but that's fine. I'll correct that once we get in there. Okay, continuing. Alright, and as expected, we are currently crashing into Kerbin, so let's correct that. It's always nice how a plane change can sometimes be the solution to your problems. Technically I can come in as deep as I'd like, but let's let's do this more or less the way I would even if there was deadly re-entry. I've got tons of fuel to slow down if I want to, of course. Let's go with this. Interesting approach. No, oh, there it is. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We're not going in too fast. Uh, in fact, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard for Kerbin to do all the work for us, but we've got all this fuel, so I might as well dump it. Make sure I don't dip the periapsis down. Okay, that's a pretty standard re-entry profile for me, so... I'll just leave it at that. Oh, are we going to be coming in on the dark side though? Ooh. Well, I mean, I guess I could make orbit and try and uh, get on the light side, but that's that's getting a bit excessive here. So uh, forgive me for doing so, but I'm going to just keep the re-entry as is instead of trying to do anything too fancy. And I think that means that now it is time to decouple the lander stage and just go with what we've got up here. Uh, materials bay, everything should be fine. We've got uh, parachutes and everything, so off it goes. There's always the question of mountains, but but surely after this we will be all right. Hopefully, can't see whether we're headed for any sort of bad terrain or not. Eh, 
And I'm not going to know until we hit it, I suppose. Okay, preparing for parachute deployment. Parachutes deployed successfully. SAS is off. Mauser is looking less certain of the situation, and I cannot see land. I mean, I can't see what's below me at all. I'll let you see the pod right there, but that's about all I can see too. Uh, the planet looks a lot like this. Nope, I, I can't even see shades of what might be a problem. There is some hilly stuff in the distance, framed against the Milky Way there. Alright, the land seems to be only 800 meters, so hopefully that means it's reasonably flat. Alright, here we are. We are safe on the ground here. Probably a biome we've already checked out, so I'm not going to bother having Melzer step outside to take a look. And we'll just recover him. Wow. Okay, 1,346 science gathered on this mission. The crew report from Gilly Surface, EVA, Near Eve, High Over Eve, High Over Gilly. Of course, we couldn't do Near Gilly, because apparently there is no such thing. Surface sample from Gilly Surface, EVA from Gilly Surface. Temperature scan, Near Eve from Gilly Surface, but uh, obviously Far From Eve doesn't work and uh, we we could have gotten an atmospheric one but I think we only had a yeah we only had the two thermometers so material study from Gilly surface goo from Gilly surface goo near Eve seismic scan unfortunately barometers are not the most useful scientific instruments apparently alright but otherwise all is well we've got tons of science I'm not going to make any firm decisions about what new sci uh, new um, technology to purchase, but let's just take a look at our possibilities. So here's the tech tree as it stands. Uh, we've got supersonic flight, advanced landing. Advanced landing will be helpful for Ma uh, Duna because of these drogue shoots, which I usually use to help me with those landings. And Lord knows I help. I need the help with the landings, uh, and of course the heavier landing struts. We need the nukes, so that would be a good one to get, and well within our budget. These I rarely use. They're, they're way too heavy, usually. Docking ports, uh, only a few of them though, but still, could be, could be interesting. Probe parts, completely useless, because that's against the rules. Uh, ion drives are pretty much useless unless you're using a probe. Uh, solar array, maybe if I was going to put up a space station, which might be a good idea. I haven't really done much with Minmus either, so maybe a Minmus station would be good. I haven't built a space station in a long time. Rover parts, that will be essential. Actually, I need those in order to save, uh, save Jeb on Duna. I need to be able to have him get to locations on Duna. If there's a rescue craft, I'm not too sure I can land a rescue craft really close to Jeb, so he's going to need a rover to get to the rescue craft. And finally this one is here. A gravioli detector. Okay, so and I guess this would be useful if we were going to do aircraft in this. But hopefully the gravioli detector is a lot more useful than the barometer. But, I mean, somebody needs to understand that getting a zero reading on a scientific instrument is still an important discovery. It means that, for instance, if you go to Gilly and you see the barometer read zero, that means that Gilly does not have an atmosphere. And that is an important thing to know. But anyway, yeah. All right, that's not here or there. I'll decide what uh, what to purchase in the next episode. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.